Shannon Sharp had asked me about my life as a drug dealer. I told him about when I put my mom up for collateral. The opinions expressed in our content is for entertainment purposes only. We do not assume liability or endorse any of the third party content used in our materials. Okay. So we're going to start this conversation off on a serious note here. <laughs> serious note. We're going to talk about Mendici. <laughs> I mean, the past is the past. My mom shut me down for telling my truth. You know, she doesn't want to relive that time in her life. But if we don't talk about it, then we don't heal. Okay, so my point is this. Like you said, it's your story, and you have a right to tell your story. Everybody does. Mm -hmm. But there is a way you can tell your story. It can still be powerful. It can still be uh, effective without naming names or things like that. Um, instead of saying my mom, it could be a close family member. Instead of saying, you know, my cousins, it could be people I used to hang with. You know, there's a way that you can still tell that story and you can leave some of those details out so that it won't affect the people around you. And my thing is, too, if his mom has brought it to his attention that, OK, you know, it bothers me when you tell the story because it does paint me in a bad light, then together they should find a way that you can still tell your story. It can still be effective and powerful, but you don't have to say it was me. Yeah, specifically, wanna... my mother don't want to hear the past. It probably remind her of some of the hard times that she had in her life. I have to make sure that she understand that you know I, I I never intended to hurt her. She just thinking about herself, trying to cover herself on that one because once again, in a DC situation, like he said, pretty much everything he's done has been for his mom. Like, dang, the man can't even tell his story how he want to tell it without. Once again, got to protect mom because she feel like this or another. It's like, no, this is for kids can relate to that, especially someone as close. Like when you hear somebody, uh, a close family member, you don't think about your mom. You don't think about your mom. what you're saying. <laughs> you don't think about that. It when depends you on what you're family, saying. It, when you talk close family member. That, no, he it's empowered. What he's trying to do is to empower. It's not about her at this moment. So mm -hmm. I feel like in a way she's being selfish because it's for a bigger picture, the cause. I'm trying to reach to the youth. But if he wants to be impactful, if he wants to be legendary, you have to be able to live in your truth and get through it. Let well, I know. understand that. But she's like, oh, do you got to use my name? Or do you got to say this, that, or another? I understand that. Look, some you, things mm -hmm. should be left in the privacy, especially, like I said, if, if you want to maintain the relationship that you built with your mom at this point, they, they, mm -hmm. they're in a, in a decent place. You said they had like a strange relationship. Right. And you're trying to, to build it or uh, put it in a better place. This is not going to hurt. And it's not going to take, I feel, it's not going to take that much away from your story to just not say mom versus saying a close family member. And I understand. Like I said, I understand the side where you want to get this through I tell my and you want to be able to impact uh, you know, have an impact on, on other people's lives, children, youth, or whatever. But at the end of the day, is that conversation that you're, you're having, is it worth putting a strain on the relationships that you do have or the relationship that you have with your mom? Is this worth it at the end of the day? And, I'll be like, in his situation, it would be. It's, if it's already been a strange or mess, or I don't want to say mess up. Why mess it up worse? For years and i'm trying to do something positive and you don't want to understand it then hey at the end of the day it's my story and i should be able to tell my story how i want to yeah it don't everything ain't gonna be glamorized and glorified it's life it's saying it that wasn't pretty this was a, a time of my life that was not pretty and hey you're part of that time you're not going to be a superhero every time you're not going to be well, yeah. all of that it's just what it is. It's life. So it's like she don't want to be said. She doesn't want it to be said to try to protect this persona. It makes you relatable just like that. Just like everybody else. You're not the only mom that went through that. So it's going to be other moms who are like, you know what? You know, I know I grew up in, a, in a, an environment that kids out there was hustling, had cars and had this, had that. 
I looked out the window when I had four kids and I wanted to be out there with those things as well. I wanted to have the best for my kids. I wanted to have the best of things. But not every mom is proud of some of the things I don't think nobody that, will be proud of that situation. Right, I'm saying. So everybody's not proud of it and don't want it to be put out there or whatnot. Some moms don't care. Some moms have been right. crackheads and it still look like a crackhead, so you can't even hide it. <laughs> it is what it is. But some moms are like, okay, look, that was a dark time in my life. And when you talk about it, it hurts my feelings, but it brings those things up and it hurts deeper than that. My it hurts thing, too, but that's my part of my story and my life too. Yeah, so we share but, a memory together. I understand that. But I'm, I'm saying, if what you're saying hurts the people around you, why wouldn't you take into consideration their feelings? And okay, are you that adamant on getting your story, this particular story, out that it's going to destroy somebody else around you? That's what I'm saying. If, you if have I'm you probably got a million story. stories. Tell another one, damn it. No, this is the <laughs> one that I'm using. This is one of my use. I can have. I'm being considerate by having a conversation with you, letting you know what's about to come out. Because, like I said, at the end of the day, he's a grown man. Yeah. I don't have to say nothing. I pay for my kids. I pay. I do all my stuff, and I still take out a look out for you. Mm -hmm. So, if me telling my story, and after all the things that we've done, you done, and what I'm currently doing, makes you want to cut me off, then that's on you. I done gave you the conversation. I'm paying some of your bills. I'm taking care of some of you. I'm doing my family and all of this. And you want to stop talking about me because <laughs> I want to tell my story. It's putting money. Well, no, I, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you want to stop talking to me. And this is helping me put food on the table, inspiring another generation. That's what you want to do. <laughs> No. Never was about me. How many, how many people I helped in my in our family? It was to, to benefit us, not just me, us. <laughs> well, you so see, here's the thing. I am looking at it from a mother's point of view. Even though I ain't had none of them issues that most uh -huh. of these mamas <laughs> on these TV shows have had, I ain't never had these issues. Mm -hmm. But I'm looking at it from a mother's point of view and sympathizing with the fact, like I, like I was telling you um, off camera. Um, a lot of times children are not aware of the sacrifices that a mother has to make or a parent in general, mainly a mom, mm -hmm. has to make in order for that child to, to strive or to live. And some of the choices that they make, they aren't proud of, but it was what they had to do to get that child to the next and day. And that's the part she needs to understand. He's no, I'm saying not... that's the part he needs to understand. She's not happy or proud of, of those choices that she made, but she had to make them so that you can be the man that you are. But I don't want to relive those memories. That's don't the thing. be around because guess what? How we you mean I'll be around when it's on, it's on social media? It's going to come around me. Guess what? Unfortunately, we shared the same memory. It might be hurtful to you, but at the same time, it's still my memory too. It's not all about, oh, this is a tight time for me. That's why I said you have the option. I'm letting you know ahead of time what I'm about to do. You don't have to be around for it, but I am going to talk about this. I am going to say this. Da da da. Then on top of that, she, I said she might not like what she had to done, but like you said, he tells that part of why he did what he did too. He was hustling at a young age. You know, I, I was a hustler, not a robber, not a thief, not a killer. I had hustle for everything that I got because I, I want to see my mom have a better life. Being a hustler. Mm -hmm and hustling in the streets, kids will look at that and that's okay. Being a prostitute or a crackhead, I don't know what the story is, but <laughs> but if a mom say, say she had to prostitute herself or she got on drugs, things like that, that's not something someone is going to look at and say, huh, interesting. You know, something to, to, to almost be glorified. Kids these days, they, they glorify somebody that's had to hustle in the streets. No, that's, he look, was Those telling. two things are looked at differently. He's telling his whole story, but that was the reason why he started. Is what he said. His mama right. was struggling. Right. So with that, he was taught him and his Not mama. saying his mama was a prostitute or a crackhead. Not right. saying that at all. He I'm struggled. just saying a lot of women have that story. So that part that she's in is an intricate part of his story and why he did what he did. Also, like you said, with the hustle and all that, the man did five years <laughs> in prison because of stuff. But tell that doing. story. Tell how you was. He, he, he was in prison. One. He's telling his life story. You can't tell one prison part. stories. You got them. Nah, you you can't can't tell one without the other. She can't be sensitive. She can't see. You thinking. can't tell her not to be sensitive. She can't you tell ain't... him not to tell his story. Yeah, she can't. She the mama. No, she don't mean nothing. <laughs> she the mama. Story and she paying mama bills and doing all of this. Like he been saying, been saying, I've been taking care of mama since I was little. Mm -hmm. So guess what? If me telling this story, but that, still taking yeah, but care of you and you, you have a different view because you haven't lived enough to understand 
don't think that means no, it's like, yes no. it does it, it's totally well, different because i'm not a mom because i don't have a kid yeah just like but i'm saying everybody have reason on. is what they it's, do right i understand that but i'm saying until you walked in a person's shoes even if it if it's if it's two feet or if it's a mile until you've walked in a person's shoes you won't understand what it's like to to have gone through some things that you aren't proud of that you hate that your child had to experience this and now every time he talks about it it makes you relive it that's different like it's different than, it i'm just talking about like, it talking about it talking about it you ain't had no real struggles like that ever all goes down to consequences choices and consequences right doesn't all go down to the choices you make stuff like that she made choices she's not happy about her choices i understand okay you made a choice you wasn't happy about it but that choice affected that child so he had i understand life. so she can't tell him not to tell his story guess what it's my yes, story she can. no she can't yes, guess she can. what you're part of my story like, she's not telling him not to tell the yes, story she is. she's saying she don't like when he tells that story this was just, that's not saying don't tell the story but i'm saying yeah, a conversation, okay, what's the conversation issue about then the conversation should be not maybe like i said it's you can tell your story but it's how you tell your story you don't have to say my mom did this. My mom did that. A family member close to me. Nah. I, look, you can I say that. People say it all no, the time. No, it don't hit the same. Like I said, when you hear a family member, you don't think of your mom. And here's my thing, too. The people out there that are itching and scratching for your story don't give a damn about you at the end of the day. They don't care about you. They don't care about your mama. All they care about is the dirt, the juice, and the tea. That's all they want so that they can either use that at some other point or they can uh, can find something else for them to talk about and tear somebody else down. Mm -hmm. My thing is, some of these conversations are better held in therapy. Let's go mm -hmm. to therapy. Let's work through our issues first, and then put them out there. And then maybe she'll it'll be in a different light. Maybe she'll be more comfortable with you telling the story if we've had these conversations maybe in a closed environment and where it's therapeutic. But you're just coming off the back like, Mama, deal with it. And here you are. The well, last time my husband decided to get up on his own and talk about his life, his mother was so upset. At a young age, my mom wasn't always there. And left me and my brothers up. Oh, oh my mom, what the f is you doing? Yeah, it's not, it she doesn't want to like hurt about it. It's right, like she's she's over it. Like she's so she needs to go to therapy and deal with it. Right, but they can go to therapy together as well. Mm -hmm. Or like you said, all this money he's spending on her, taking care of her, put her in therapy. So that she can come to come to grips with it. But I'm just saying you don't override a person's feelings, like I said, especially when it comes to I your mean, mom you or someone that so close. I say, well, override a person's feelings. It depends what it's for. Like I said, this he not just doing like a tell all book and tell her. No, he's doing it for a good reason, a good cause. Yeah, you might not like it, but it's At the, the end reason of the day, the these institution. people are not your family. You, yeah, he's trying to expire. You know, you expire. These people. people are not your family. And if it, if your mama Whatever she did, she did Look, to, to raise you. Uh -huh. she, whatever she did, she did to raise you. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like she abandoned you through your way. She she tried. Her best wasn't the best, but at least she tried. So it's not like he never said she was a bad mama. So, so I'm saying I'm saying that to say to take to really consider her feelings. That's what I'm, I'm saying, saying that's her, that part is on her. He's told her multiple times. I'm not attacking you. I'm not mad at you. I'm not this, that, or another. That's something she has within herself. She has to go deal with. Like you said, this. So let me ask you this. Let me put it, put it into a different light. So, mm -hmm. say somebody raped you. Mm -hmm. A man raped you. He went to jail. Mm -hmm. He did his time. Mm -hmm. So now he wants to tell his story, but he wants to tell it in detail. He wants to tell, I raped so you. He tell right. you by name, mm -hmm. and he wants to tell every detail of what he did to you. That would f you up. Yes. That you have to relive that. That's what I'm saying. Think of it like that. I was you, thinking of it like that. No, because like I said, a, a person hearing that, and like I said, that man has a right. That rapist has a right to tell his story. But take into consideration, you living your truth is destroying somebody else. It's a way, don't name me. Don't say my name. Say, I raped a person. And this is what I did to that person. You still telling the story. Mm -hmm. You still giving the details, but you're leaving out that person's name. Now you know who he's talking about. Mm -hmm. Mama knows who he's talking about. Still, it's still a gory story. It's still details. It's still hitting hard, mm -hmm. but it's sparing you the public embarrassment. It's sparing you a little bit of hurt and pain because he's not saying your name. That's what I'm saying. You got to think about that's it. extreme. Charisma. You I'm can't. Saying, no, a person's trauma is a person's yeah. trauma. Like so. you say, it, 
it, it just is. You know, yeah, like, <laughs> we have to agree to disagree on that one. Two sides of the coin. Boy. We're both very passionate about what we're saying. Mm-hmm. You know, at, at the end of the day, I mean, it ain't our story. It ain't. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't our story at all. It, that's the truth. What, what I'm going to do? Hey, y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're messing with the vibe. See ya.